Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Real quick today, before I get into today's manicure, I have neck and nails. I did order on uh, over the Black Friday's Small Business Saturday Cyber Monday sale. I ordered two orders. I did one with Glam Polish, and then I also did one with IMK Nails, home of Peel Ease. So I ordered the big bottle of the Latex Barrier or the Protect Peel. And I also got the little bottle with the brush so I can refill it. And then I got a cleanup brush. So I'm going to give that a shot today too. And as a free gift, see it says gift on it, she sent me this bottle here and it's 27 July 18. Beautiful polish. I will be using this. I'm going to leave this sitting out until I use it. So I just wanted to share that real quick before we hop into the manicure. Alrighty, I am starting this manicure off with IMK's Peel Ease and Braves Diva. Hi, it's me, Stan, as my base color. Just a beautiful dusty rose cream. I am so excited to share this manicure with you all. I am really, really stoked with how this one turned out. <laughs> this was one of those I had been thinking about for days. <laughs> Ah, and to see it happen really made me happy. Beautiful cream polish. Um, this one just smooths itself out and it's just, it's perfect. It's just perfect. I'm going to use my IMK cleanup brush and I'm going to go ahead and give you some thoughts on it. I love how thin it is. Really love the thinness of it. You can get down in there. But I like a firmer brush. I'm a little spoiled. So this one's going to take me a little bit of getting used to. But I really do like it. The handle feels good in my hand. And like I said, I love how thin the bristles are. I just, you know, I'm spoiled. I'll also be using the IMK Peel Protect. And because that's because I'm going to water marble today. I'm getting a little sloppy with it on the get-go. But it's okay. I'm just going to cover up to my knuckle, that first knuckle, and all the way around up underneath because when I water marble, I make a mess. That's what it's all about, right? About getting, getting messy and getting that really cool design. So I am working my way all the way around this finger. And I have got my other fingers already done because, you know, we won't, we won't be here all day just watching me paint my fingers with latex. I do really like the um, Peel Protect. Um, it smells like latex. I'm not going to lie. It's not, it's, it doesn't smell like fruit or anything, but you know, it works. And it dries totally clear. You see that? Today I'll be water marbling with Brave Steva Shady Pines. And that base color I used, which is high, it's me, Stan. And I am doing this first round, this first nail is in real time. I have not sped it up at all. I normally do speed up my videos a little bit all the way through. But this one, I'm going to bump it up each nail I do. I'm going to get a little faster and a little faster and a little faster. That way you can see it all, but you don't have to sit here for, you know, 45 minutes watching me water marble <laughs> my nails. But you do get to see me do four of them did the thumb off camera. It was my test nail. <laughs> Wanted to make sure it was going to work before I got all into it and aggravated. And I didn't have any aggravation with this manicure. It was just a really good one. So on this one, I'm going to draw in a design and I'm going to do the eight petal flower design. You just bring it from the outer to the middle and then I dip down to make sure it secures. And here we go. This is making our four petal flower. And then I'm going to turn it into eight. I'm going to split each one of those petals into two petals each. I am using a cup of room temperature, just Java water. Um, it's the same temperature as my room. I keep a bottle in my room always ready to go. There we go, dipping down in. And now I'm going to go from the center and flick out towards the edge of the cup and to make these petals have points on them. And this is what's going to make it kind of look more like a poinsettia. Now I know poinsettias are normally red and green, but I have seen light pink ones like this in some of my nurseries here where I live. 
and I just decided to be a little different and uh, go this route in these colors. So I'm going to turn this cup. I did do the whole design. I don't need all of it, but I'm going to pick the petals I like the best, and I'm going to dip my pointer finger down in and grab that part of the design. Line it up, dip down, hold your finger under the water while you get your top of your water cleared off. You may have to blow on it. I did blow on this a little bit to get it to dry faster. And you go around cleaning it all up. You don't want anything left in there to mess up your design. I do have a bubble. It popped. I dipped back down in. And I'm getting that extra polish out of the water. There we go. Slowly pull that nail out. Now I'm going to take this little toothpick and I'm going to go around the edge. I've been doing this to break that seal just in case. That way when I pull the liquid latex up, it doesn't pull any of the water marble off of my nail. I have had it happen. It doesn't always happen, but it can. So I've tried to start making sure that I make a habit of running something around that edge of my nail to break that seal. And as you can see, the Peel Ease Protect works great. I love it. It came off altogether. It wasn't all in bits and pieces. It worked really, really nice. So I'm liking that. Now I have sped this one up to 1.25 times speed. So we're going to go a little faster through this one. I absolutely loved these colors together. They're both kind of dusty, muted, and they just worked so well together. And Brave Steva polishes are excellent for water marbling. We're going to do the same design as before. We're going to do the four petal, turn it into an eight petal, and then flip those edges, those little petals out to the edge to make them look like poinsettias. I do wipe off my toothpick in between each swipe just so I don't end up with blobs of polish messing up my design. Now we're doing the flicking from the center all the way out to the edge of the cup. And you know, you don't have to do the whole cup. You could do just enough of what you need. But I always like to do the whole design and then pick which area I like the best. I do pinch that cup between my thumb and whatever finger I'm water marbling. That way I don't knock my cup over. I've been known to do that too. I do have another bubble. We're going to pop it. There we go. And just like before, I'm running that toothpick around the edge to break that seal. And I'm going to remove the latex off film. Now this one I bumped up to one and a half times speed. Getting faster and faster. You know, keep it moving. But this was a rather long video, and I didn't want to bore anybody or, you know, just carry on too long. Because I know there's a lot of videos out there to watch. Trust me, I'm a subscriber and watcher of many channels myself. So I know there's a lot going on out in the YouTube world right now. So as before, I'm just making the same design. I'm not changing it. I'm not doing anything different. Um, I'm just playing in the water. I absolutely do love water marbling. And y'all would get way more water marble videos from me if I didn't have a real job. Because uh, I would do them a lot more because I would have time to. <laughs> like I was saying before, if you've ever... Um, I didn't say it exactly like this, but if you've ever had trouble with water marbling and you just can't get it to work, buy a couple of Tara's uh, cream polishes from Brave Steva Nails and give them a shot. Because I, in my experience, they've just water marbled like a dream. Dip. And there we go. Going to clean up the top of that water again. And I don't get paid by Tara. Tara doesn't give me a commission or anything. So um, there is no, there, there's no hokey pokey going on with this. I'm just letting you guys know this is what I have found that works. I've got a lot of polishes that I water marble with. Some of them do better than others. But these polishes are amazing for water marbling. Now we're really going fast. We almost two times speed. We're at 1.75 speed now. 
Um, so this one's going to go really quick. But I know a lot of you really do enjoy seeing water marbles. And I want to just leave this in so that you can see. Sometimes I get a little messy. And this is something that does happen. I'm not the only one that's done it. And I know that you guys can appreciate that this kind of stuff happens. You might want to scrap yours and start all over. I decided to just roll with it. I'm doing my pinky nail, so I didn't need no huge area to work with. So I'm just going to go in and do it just like I would any other pattern. Even with that big old blob of pink off to the side, it's okay. It's a water marble. I figured if I did the design and I ended up not liking it, then I could start over. But as this one worked out, I, I was just fine with it. There's, It looks just like the rest of them except for over there on the side. <laughs> so here we go, gonna dip in and clean up that excess polish off the top of the water. Golly, I love water marbling. It's my favorite. Here we go, I'll break that seal. I'm gonna show you how this IMK Peel Protect works. I'm going to snap it because you know I'm a snapper. And then I yank that stuff off. Ta-da! There we go. They're all done. I'm going to be using Brave Steven Nails Drew. This is a yellow polish. I might should have used gold to make these show up more. But I'm doing like the little center of the flower. Like the seeds or the... I don't know what they're called. The pestles, I don't remember what they're called. But that's what's inside the center of the flower. And I should have maybe done them in gold to make them stand out. But I really was trying to stick to creams. And, um, you know, going back over them, seeing if I missed any spots I want to put some in. So I've done that on all of my nails. And now that they're dry, I'm going to go in with the IMK Northern Lights. And just add a little bit of bling to them. Just a little sparkle, a little something special. Making sure to cap my free edge. And hi, Woody, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I think he's doing just fine. He's happy to have work. But there we go. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. So I'm going to top this one with some posh top coat and seal this all in. Being sure to cap my free edge. I have a swatch photo coming up here real soon for you to see. But I would love to hear what you think about my poinsettia manicure. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this one. Love the bling. Perfect. So here you have it. There's my swatch photo. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.